everybody, Dave Schmitz, resistancebandtraining.com, coming to you today with, I think, what will be a very helpful tip for a lot of you that have one band, but yet want to do bilateral horizontal vector training, especially for the upper body. Let me show you what I mean. One of our packages that we have online is a single band package. Well, with that, you get exactly that, single bands. Typically, you're going to get four different types of bands, but they're all going to be singular. Now, you see me do a lot of paired band training, bilateral training, normally using two reds, two blacks, two purples, whatever we're using. Now, the problem is, what if I only have a single band? Can I still do horizontal vector training bilaterally? And the answer is yes, you can, as long as you understand what you have in front of you with your single band. Let me show you. If I go ahead and I take a single band and I loop it through my setup here. Now, I have this set up so that I just wrapped it around. I didn't link it on, so it still can move up and down. All right. The second thing you want to go ahead and do now is take your smaller band. So we always suggest put the stronger band in the back, put the weaker band in the front, and I'll show you why that's important in a little bit. If you slide it through, now you have a double link system that you can go ahead and use. Now, the cool thing is, let me sneak over here and grab my handles. If you have a pair of handles, and you don't necessarily need them, but if you do, you can go ahead and hook your handles on here, like so. And now you have a double loop system that you can go ahead and do horizontal vector training with. Now here's what we've got to go ahead and understand. Number one, which of these two bands is going to stretch more, the red or the black, when you start using the system? The red. It's smaller. Therefore, the black is going to meet a tension level that's going to be stronger, and eventually the red is going to be taking on more of the load. You need to understand that so you don't overstretch your red band. Secondly, it's not going to be tightened on, so on a vertical bar, it is going to slide up and down. You have to be aware of that. Okay. Next, you have to make sure that your tensions are equal on both sides so that you even it out. But once you have that set up, you can easily go ahead and start horizontal vector training, doing your presses, curls, bend over presses, triceps. You can obviously work unilateral as long, or excuse me, alternating as long as you keep tension and connection firmly attached here. If this gets loose, then the band will start sliding through. Here's the other challenging part of this system. The starting resistance is going to be significantly more than if you had just two red bands attached in training. The other thing that you want to understand is this, that when you do this type of training, the bands are just simply looped through, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about knots and links that get too tight. But you need to understand that the stretch length is now going to be half as much because you have it doubled. So yes, your tension is higher, but your stretch length is going to be less. Therefore, you're going to find that as soon as you get into this position, you're already under tension. So now you can go ahead and get great tension through the entire range of motion, which is really cool. Now, the cool thing, too, is you can still do unilateral training if you want. You can do alternating, as we showed. And you can go ahead, if you really want, you can pop the handle off and you can still do unilateral off-balance loading. Now, granted, it's a system that has variability in it, but I think that if you have two bands of different sizes, hopefully they are just one next to each other. Preferably, I don't want this to be a purple and this to be a red. The tension difference would be too great. But if you have two single bands and you want to do bilateral horizontal vector training, here's your option. Hope you enjoyed that little tip. Check it out. Let me know what you think. 
Be careful that you're not overstretching your bands when you start going to this system, but I think you're going to find it to be a very useful system.